Hi everyone, and welcome to a reading for Sagittarius. Okay. Slow and steady has been winning the race for you. You really want to start from the ground up and you're really keeping your eye on how you're manifesting in this world. Whatever you're thinking you're manifesting, that's for sure. So when you get in times of confusion uh, or when something doesn't manifest exactly as you, you plan, it can sort of lead you in a bit of downtime or particularly at night you'll be thinking about it. So I think you're realising that when you're in a high vibe and all, you're really sort of sparking is when you're starting to manifest some really good stuff. Uh, but when you're in a point of confusion, you, you're manifesting confusion. You could be turning your back to an earth sign here. It could be why the confusion is. But you certainly want to build up your stability to a point where you are uh, feeling very grounded, which isn't unusual for a Sagittarius. You still have an inspiration to move forward. But unusually, you're moving forward slowly. And it could have taken you a long time to actually realise that you need to go a little bit slower. It popped over. Yeah, because you're actually finding as you go a little bit slower and you, you're coming up with a better plan, you're actually becoming a lot happier. And a lot happier. It's going to lead to incredible happiness. That's for sure. Wow, that one just flew. Wow, the devil just flew onto the floor upside down. Yeah, you're getting control of it. Oh my goodness, this is fabulous, Sagittarius. Yes, you've seen how evil or negativity plays out in your world. You've seen how your thoughts can actually lead you to actually manifesting whatever you're thinking. And you've seen that you're turning it upside down. You're turning this, this negativity in your world, this chain to things and vices and all the darkness. You're turning it upside world, upside down. And it flew off the table, so we'll put it over there. It's like it's not welcome anymore in your world. You can take that. I see it. It's up, you know. Thank you. Yeah, but in the upside down as well, it's like it's it's now it's gone. You see it, and you're you're finding you're happy again. This has been a huge shift. See, this could also be like the things of the world. You might have taken some time out here and grounded yourself. And um, you're feeling more yourself. You're feeling happy again. You're feeling inspired. You've got no ideas are starting to flow back in again. This is fabulous. This is amazing. Yeah, any more advice? Yeah. <laughs> you certainly could be um, thinking of things of the past here. As I said, possibly that earth sign. Uh, you could be thinking fondly of it. You could be also thinking how... It, you know, things had to, to change. And, and things change. That's what, you know, there's different cycles in life. Everything changes. Everything changes. And constant life is change, isn't it? Yes, you need to be very careful of uh, someone. Some, it looks like someone could be coming at you feeling quite hurt here and over it and could come in and shoot off at the mouth here, but it looks like you're going to be able to handle the situation very well because you've got a reins on your life again. This is fabulous. Any more advice? Yes, from being stuck in your mind and ungrounded, it looks like from this different space or this energy that you're either moving into or starting to feel or will be by the, you know, shortly, it, it's going to change your whole world. It's going to bring incredible bounty into your world. You're going to feel stable. You're going to feel like you'll be able to manifest incredible um, stability and start to feel fabulous again is probably the best way. You'll start to wear clothes that really make you feel good and you put on your, you do your hair and put on your, you know, make sure everything around you looks gorgeous, you know. It's a, a complete change up. Yeah, goodbye. 
Goodbye. Sad just got their mojo back. You saw things in a completely different perspective. And gee, it took some time really getting yourself in a very uncomfortable position. Or is he, you know, is he, he sort of looks a bit happy, doesn't he? But you, you saw things. You saw things for what they were. And you decided to make a huge shift in your world. You've decided to choose you. You decided to choose happiness. Love it. All right, any more advice for Sag? <laughs> Be careful. Um, thoughts could still catch you, okay? And this is how the things come in. You can see how dark this is compared to this as well. Um, rumination, thinking of the past in a negative way. You're moving forward now. You're moving out of this time of darkness. It's time to now think of your ultimate happiness and stability and come up with a fabulous plan. It's now time to move away from it, okay? It's now time because you're moving away. You so see this person sort of getting stuck in all these negative things that have been said in the past and done, you know? And it sort of puts an energy right over the top of your energy and sort of drains. What you're doing is you're moving towards your happiness now. You're moving away from it. And you're finding absolute, absolute stability and bounty. Okay? That Sagittarius looking absolutely gorgeous, even though it's, a, it's an earth. The, you know, the King of Pentacles Earth, but you're starting to get, once you get your mojo back, you get your finances back, you get your happiness back, and you can have your world exactly as you want it, dripping with all the lovelies that you like, you know, and looking fabulous, you know. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. But also, once again, the way to stay out of the mire, and this what this what person's looking straight at this, very important to keep the grounding. Make sure you still get out with sun. Sunshine's going to be your saviour. Not too much sun, of course, because, you know, it can bite when you have too much, as we all know. But the way to keep out of this, that negative, that headspace, keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on the devil because you, you don't want this back in your life again. You're moving past it. You've done such incredible work. Congratulations. Fabulous Sagittarius. I really hope that helped. I love you all and bye for now.